UX panel carrying footage. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna install the back wall system from InsoFast. And all this is gonna be doing, super simple installation process. It's going to, again, be building this into a nice flat surface that we can put a multitude of different insulation systems, uh, but ideally gonna be paired with the UX flat panel installation uh, on top of this. So. To begin, we're gonna do the same application we've done virtually with the ceiling inserts or the back wall, uh, or sorry, the side wall inserts, which is going to be just applying a good amount of adhesive in that S pattern down this whole thing. And then make sure you set it right on top of those welds. So there's a weld in the bottom there that it might be a little rounded. So if you put it on the very bottom, it could be kicking out the bottom. So what I'd like to do is put it up a little bit and then slide it down to that weld. And that's also gonna make sure this grabs nice and tight. Then we're gonna follow the same application and we're gonna put this one right on top. And in the case of this being a standard height container, we would be cutting this one. In this case, we're using a high cube container and that's gonna allow us to put a, another full piece. And then what we'll do is we'll hold this one up there and we will mark it, score it, snap it off. And then we're gonna apply that across this entire back wall. Then we'll get on to the UX panel. So that's what's so nice about this product, the way that you can just score and snap that right off. And then all you gotta do is add a little bit of adhesive on this last final piece. Take that. We already dry fit it. We know it's nice and snug in there. Fits in. Perfect, good to go. Now we repeat that process across this whole back wall, and then we'll be able to get on to the flat panel UX system. Okay, when we got to the layout, we noticed, and this is kind of something you might run into, whether you have an older container, you have a newer container, sometimes there's some things you haven't really seen. And we do this on a daily basis, tons of different containers. Uh, but this is the first time we actually ran into this, that there's a little steel lip on the bottom of the container. And that could be new ICC code, so we might be expecting that on all of them, or it could just be this manufacturer. Uh, could have been an error in manufacturing process. But again, this is a field modification we haven't ran into, but it was really quick, you know, just a few seconds. I just took my knife and I went and I cut out the back of this and made a little recessed lip there so that it accommodates that little bump out right there so that this panel will sit nice and flush. And we already have gone ahead and cut off the two inches that we needed for our stud layout to land exactly where we wanted it. And uh, now this ensures that this is nice, perfectly flush all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start all these panels and get them ready and then we'll work our way up and we'll show you how we finish the top.
we got the bottom three and the middle three here. And I had a little gap here that was just kind of kept trying to work itself over. So I'm gonna take a little break. So I put a little shim in there to hold this in place where I want it so that the glue doesn't dry with a panel out of, out of uh, placement. So we just gotta cut those top panels, finish these little sides, and then we're gonna be done. So we're getting to these last couple pieces and we wanted to try and salvage as much of the product as we could. So we're gonna cut again this top lip off and we're gonna apply a little bit of foam there. And then before, when we were kind of cruising through here, trying to set a land speed record, we cut a couple of them a little uh, short there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and foam those areas so that they are fully sealed. And that again, you know, kind of turns this installation process into something that you can do with your wife or your kids and not worry if there's something that's uh, a little not perfect, we'll call it. And uh, you can just go back and fill all those areas. So we'll go and cut that off, apply this, and then we're gonna be done with this whole top section. Completion of the uh, InsoFast back wall inserts topped with the UX flat panels right over that application. And you can kind of see it if you haven't seen already, watch the video on the corner system and exactly how to install that because you're going to want to do that first before going ahead and doing the back wall system. So that's it. Make sure to stay tuned for all the InsoFast products and check out the other installation videos. We at Containing Luxury, we out.